Hi sisters, well, welcome back to another new video. <laughs> but hello everybody, welcome to another video. Today we're going to be doing an unboxing. And this is not which unboxing, of course. I did get this in the mail not so long ago. And I'm really excited because this is something which I've been wanting for a very long time. And this is the James Charles Pala, I think. So let's just get into it. But I did get a palette and a brush set. Ooh, I see something white in here. <gasps> okay, I was right. Oh my god! God, it's actually bigger in person. So, here's the brush set. I don't know if you guys can see. The Morphe James Charles Brock brush set. And then we got the palette. Oh my god. It's actually bigger in person. I really thought it wasn't going to be that big. Even if I don't use all of the brushes, I will get some kind of value out of it. Because each brush costs roughly $1 to $2. And I'm probably going to use half of the brushes. So for the price I got it, it was actually worth it. Ooh, so here's the brush set. I'm opening it. It comes with a Morphe sponge. And it comes with a whole lot of brushes. Oh. And then there's some wax, I assume. Made in China, of course. We love Chinese marketing. Now, some brushes, as I told you, I'm probably not going to be using them. I don't do a lot of eyeshadow. So therefore, I don't really will be, I won't be using most of these brushes. I'll probably be like using the same brush. <laughs> That's what you do as a normal artist. Oh my god, I just want to remind, remind, these are super duper soft. You know, on camera they don't seem that soft, but compared to other brushes I've felt, damn. This is Firm Brush, the M124, or the M124 brush. I mean, I like it that they packaged every, everything in um, plastic, but it's a damn long time to open. Pro Firm Blending Crease Brushes, okay. So we have three of these. Uh, really cool. This is the Angled Contour Brush. So this is for using um, contour and stuff. You'll get one of those. This is, <clears throat> this is a Pro Blending Brush. Now if we do, ta let's talk about how I, um, what, why did I deserve, why did I think about purchasing this palette? Well, my first intention was I wanted to always have something which was his, James Charles, I don't know. I've always liked this. Oh yeah, by the way, this, these are two um, sharpened mini blender brushes. So many blender brushes. So yeah, I was thinking like, okay, is it worth buying it? Like I don't even do eyeshadows what's the point and then i was like well you know what you can always try something new you can always be your new artist like there's nothing wrong with trying new things i have no idea what this is whatever this is the medium chiseled fluff brush again i have no idea why you would use these types of brushes. These small ones, I have no idea. All I probably need is, this, is the fluffy brushes and I'm good to go. And then maybe a blending brush. Like, um, oval shadow brush. I have no idea what this is, but um, we will find out shortly. I want to just open these damn brushes so that I can go to the palette. I know you guys are waiting to see it. Two of these. Pointed powder brush? Oh my god, this is when you powder your whole... They smell like paint. They smell like they come from the paint store. I'm not even joking. <laughs> scam. Morphe scam. <laughs> paint store. Pro pointed blender brush. I have no idea what you use this for. Probably to blend your eyeshadow, just like the other funny brushes. Is the pr precision pencil crease brush. So I'm assuming the, this is when you're going to cut your crease, maybe, I don't know. 
And then we're going on to the mini firm blending brush. Please, we have three of them. I hope that they have more of a use, if I do say so myself. Okay, these are just brushes. Like, I will not, most of them I don't see much difference. Like, they look fairly similar. They're just different. They're just different in very small aspects. Now, if you want to know the story when I was buying this, as I was at work, okay, this is a very flat brush. This is the Chubby Buffer brush. I have no idea where you, where you use this. I'm assuming it's to blend out big amounts of eyeshadow. The Oval Camouflage brush. Don't know why you would, these literally look like the white ones, but in orange. This is what you use when you're gonna cut the crease, so. Should be interesting. Detailed liner brush, I'm assuming this is for lining to do your eyebrows, I guess. Very, I probably need one of these. It's just one of these. There we go. And we have two brushes left. Okay, this is the angle nose contouring brush. Ooh. So we use this one when we're gonna contour our nose. This one. Pretty, pretty neat. And then we have the last one. So this is for foundation. And then we can open the beauty sponge as well while we're at it. All right, here's a beauty sponge. I will say compared to my other beauty sponge, this one's a lot, this is red, so it's really good. Um, but this one's a very, I don't even, obviously smells like paint. Um, yeah, but uh, I don't know, I'm assuming this is when you wanna set your powders in place, so that's really good. Um, otherwise, it's, it's this one's much harder, so it's very hard to use. Um, but this, on the other hand, is, more like soft if I do say so myself so that's great but anyway so yeah this is all the brushes um again a lot of these brushes look so similar I probably will not be able to see the difference but we can try oh my god <gasps> this is what you guys have all been waiting for the Morphe X James Charles palette <laughs> Use Rose James for 10% off. Okay, but let's open it then. God, I can't open. Oh, there we go. I. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh my god, so pretty. It looks prettier in real life. Okay. So I'm thinking we do a bit of swatches so we know which is what. Um. As you can see, I can see what- <gasps> Are you fucking- No. Has one color already been broken? I literally can't be asked to return it. I'm too lazy for that. This is going to be canvas. really s okay you can see better on camera it looks okay then we're gonna take ring light this is how ring light looks it looks much better on camera though i will have to be honest on that point we're gonna take so good i don't know if you guys can see this 518 this was actually much better. <clears throat> now we're going to take another matte shade, which is Rusted. I don't know if I'm doing this too gently or... This is Rusted. It looks like a matte red. Yeah, it's Halloween. I'm gonna put on wig. This is wig. Next, we're gonna put on T. Not really my favorite colors, to be honest. Now we're going to take Punch Me.
Can you guys say that? Now we're gonna take sister. This is a blinding... Blinding highlight, I guess. I don't know. Mary. Okay, this is Mary. This is Mary. More seeable. Oh, this is literally. I was right. So this is literally. Can't really see much. Um, and then I think it's your kitten. Aw. Oh. Look, just this is sold. So now we're gonna go on to Shook. This is Shook. And this is Boutique, I think. Yeah. Amazing matte shades. The broken one called Benny, which I'm a bit dissatisfied because it's already broken. And this is just, this is like a brown, brownish black. So I'm gonna have to contact um, Morphe about this because it's already broken. Get flashback. Tinted white. You can barely see it. And then I think it is face. Face. And then this is tune. Tune. Of more of a, like an orange color. And then it's code James. And it's it doesn't it shows that it's like it's brown, but then it comes out as orange. Which I think is really weird. Browner shade, which is 10% off. This is more like t these these bigger pans are the ones which are for like everyday makeup artists. And now we're going on to no beans. No beans. And then we're gonna go on to spooky, I think. Yeah, spooky. The black one. Black one. Then we're going on to B. Now I'm getting onto like the colorful one. I noticed that the formula is, is a bit different. This is B. This is guac, which I think stands for guacamole. Look at that. Now this is hello over here, this one. Now we're gonna go on to Playgrounds. So Playground was we really weird. I think I put it on incorrectly. So this is Playground. So this is Brother. Metallic purple is artistry, which I really do think defines the palette. And we're gonna go on to uh, Love That. Now, I was thinking also about getting the Jeffree Star palette, but then I realized that lots of the shades, I would never use that. Those are like weird shades. So this is Pinkity Drinkity, very light pink shade. You can barely see it, it's literally right here. I'm gonna put on some more. Literally, it's so hard to see it. Ah, uh, this one is Social Blade, I think. This is Social Blade. Our uh, next one is Daddy. This is Daddy, so the dark sh dark green is Daddy. And we're going on to a shimmer shade, which is Cape Cod. I have no idea what that stands for. So that's Shape Cod. And then we're going on to a dark blue, which is Cola. So this is Cola, the dark, this one. Next one is Capella. So this is Capella, this, I know it's very, I have a lot of shades here, this one, that's Capella. Then we're going to Escape, okay, Escape is literally right here. So this one is Single, so that's Single, and then we're gonna go into the last one, which is Skip, which is a very vibrant pink, that one. So that is all of my swatches, basically. What is it? 
Well, isn't it like 40? Whatever. Whatever. I've done all of the swatches. I'm so... So far, most of them are pretty. The ones which I was most satisfied was the red, which was, I think it was... Literally, or you're kidding. And then... I mean, a lot of these pink shades were also very pretty, but they're not something I would use. Also, a lot of blue shades. And a lot of shimmer shades, which are very pretty. So yeah, that was basically my review. Again, I did get a broken... I got it broken, so... I'm gonna contact Morphe and see what they can do for me, if they can give me, like, I don't know. Cause to be honest, I don't, it's not a big deal to me if I don't get anything for it, because I'm probably not gonna use that shade. Like if it was a red one, I probably would've just gotten a new one. Um, but since it is a shade, of the palette and I paid a lot of money I expect quality so I'm expecting some good ass quality anyway so yeah if you did enjoy this video and you want to see me do a look make sure to like and comment down below and I'll make sure to do an eye look I'm thinking if we get 20 likes I will do a video where I recreate an eye look um, from an Instagram user not sure who but I'll pick someone and try my best using the palette so if you did enjoy this video make sure to slap a like in it and i'll see you guys later take care bye